Hello, 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 dear friends. Chris here. I hope everybody is fabulous today. So I have an unboxing for you today from Paint Some Way. It's just one item. But before I get to that, I first would like to um, thank and welcome every new viewer here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like it here and my, like my content, content, please do those YouTube things like like, subscribe, share, comment, etc. It would be uh, very much appreciated. And to all my dear friends and returning True Blues, thank you so much for your continued love, support, kindness, and friendship. It's everything to me. I truly appreciate you. So, first, excuse me if you hear me talking weird or a uh, weird grumble. It's just I've been talking, doing uh, kind of mass videos, and so my throat is a little sore, so I have a little vitamin C drop to soothe it out. So I apologize about that. Um... As I said, this is from Paint Some Way. So it will be linked down below in the description box. Uh, so check them out. As well as any other pertinent links, uh, discount codes, etc. That you might need all in the description box. So look there. Without any further ado, let's talk about this diamond painting. It's gorgeous. This is part three of my stained glass diamond painting journey. So, again, as I might have said in the previous video about the canvas, this is more of a flexible, thinner canvas, which, if you can see here, this is what happens. It gets wrinkly sometimes. Now, this has not been sitting very long uh, or under anything heavy for very long, so I haven't been able to get them out as fast yet. There are ways you can. You, people do iron their canvases and do all their stuff to it. Um, but I just place something heavy over them and let them sit a while. And you could, you know, just kind of, you know, smooth it out with, you know, by going like this a little bit. And then they will come out and, uh, no real harm to the canvas. So, that's just a quick, quick tip for you. So, let's just look at a canvas. Here we have it. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Oh, my God. It's gorgeous. Guys, this is a 60 by 100. It's a round. There's 23 colors. They use all uppercase letters in the drill field. Gorgeous. Now, this is confetti everywhere for the most part. No, I kind of lie. It's not confetti everywhere. But a lot of it, especially the bottom parts. If you know me, you'll know I love celestial kind of things. I love suns and moons. We have this the moon over here. This little face and lots of confetti. All confetti. Confetti, confetti everywhere in the moon over here. Everywhere over here. So we have the moon here. Then we have our sun over here. Lots of confetti over here in the sun too. In the moon, you'll have some color blocking in the white areas. In the sun, you'll have some color blocking over here in the yellow. And not even very much in the here. It's just confetti everywhere. The background, which will be the black, which is the W symbol, you will get areas to do in here. That is color blocking as well as around here, through here. And up top over here where you can't see yet. But this is just fabulous. So let's start from this down here. Sorry for the earthquake, guys. So here is our info up here and our thumbnail, which you probably can't see all that great. And our legends right here. So you can see all the colors in the here. Thumbnail, thumbnail. You get a close look at the drill field. Again, color blocking in the background with that black. And then we go into the, the painting. So I'm going to work up from, again, from here. We have, to me, this kind of does look like um, a, a kind of a glass uh, pane sort of thing. It doesn't have the outline of it. But with this black here, you know, it has that kind of look of the an actual um, being in a glass. And so here we have like this sort of 
what I call fire reddish kind of sun over here. That's what it looks like to me at least. And then over here we have, again, I'm assuming these are like cloud kind of things. We have stars into the blue night. Oh, just this is just gorgeous. And as we go again down the, with the sun and the moon, Again, more of the hot red over here, yellows and oranges, down into the blues with the uh, again, cloud sort of looks down here. And then we go to the bottom, the bottom here. Honestly, I don't know what this is supposed to represent, a lot of these colors. Um, to me, it looks like it could be some sort of flower or grass or something. Because you have lots of greens and just some like cotton colors there. I don't know, but it's really, really pretty. I, I'm just, I love this. The second I seen it, I was like, oh, breath took my breath away. This will take a while. Again, lots of confetti everywhere, except really in the black area. I will bring you down a little closer so we can see better. It'll be it'll be easier for me to do it this way than bring it up to you. Again, look at that. So per usual, you know, it's it's the reading the canvas is okay. I don't have an issue personally. The stickiness is definitely better than a previous one that uh, the previous video. Uh, which is good. How can you not love that sun and moon? I mean, oh. And then again, what really adds to it is uh, to me, and there's a blue background with just these few stars up there. To me, that like really sends this home. over there. I don't know why those are so significant to me. That adds so much to it <laughs> in a already beautiful painting. So guys, let's look at the drills. This is 462 right here. So they come in the resealable bags. It did come with the, what do you call it? The kit number on there, which is good. We start down there with, um, what's that? One, looks like one, two, three, four, five, six probably bags of black. And then we go into the yellows and the teals, a little bit of the tan, dark blues, reds, a medium blues, yellows, more reds. A little bit of a kind of seafoam greeny that looks like a pure white. And we go into the pretty teals and uh, turquoisey kind of colors. A little bit of a uh, mm, mustardy color. A little bit of purplish pink. Again, that's like a very dark brown. Very dark, almost black. Into the blues and since you can, you know, minty greens and a little bit of a, like a terracotta. Beautiful. So there we have it, guys. I think this is going to be absolutely stunning. Stunning, stunning. How can you not love this beautiful celestial painting from uh, Paint Some Way? Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't have anything else to say, but look at this stunning piece. Again, check them out. It'll be in the description below. They have tons of different size of, of these uh, stained glass um, items. And uh, yeah, they're just, it's really, really beautiful. So thank you all again so much. Um, please, everybody, be safe, be happy, and stay safe, stay happy. Until next time, bye, guys.